What's up, everybody, and welcome to Manor Lords. I'm checking this out for the very first time. Now, I was provided a key, so thank you to the developers for emailing me that. Um, I've been seeing this game a, a decent amount. I've watched the streamer Lyric play it sometimes over on Twitch, and uh, it's it's honestly looked pretty cool. So it's from my understanding, it's pretty much a medieval city builder, but then there's also a ability to go into third person and walk through the city. Uh, you are pretty much in charge of anything and everything. There's different regions that you can take over and start new cities. There's a whole lot that you can do. And uh, so far, it's been getting very positive reviews, even with it being in just early access or like an early preview. So today, we're just going to create a new game, jump right into it, see what it's like. And as always, if you guys end up enjoying it, leaving a like on the YouTube VOD it makes a huge difference. We'll see if we hit that 20 likes. And if we do, then I'll go ahead and put out more episodes of this because it's something I, I've been wanting to try for a bit now. So here we go. Let's hit that new game and see what we've got. So we got a character creator. Kind of cool. Um, Let's go with... I'm going to go with this guy. Oh, it also uh, randomizes your name. We'll go Cassis. Coat of Arms. Now, the cool thing is, I think you can actually use a different... Yeah, you can load a picture in right here. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, it doesn't seem to be letting me select a picture, but that's okay. Um... I don't know. I'm not very good at choosing what to put on our coat of arms here. Maybe the Saints logo. Do they have purple? Hmm. Let's see. Sure, you know what? We're going to go with this. <laughs> you can also choose the scale. Whoa. That's interesting. Okay, coat of arms. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. I don't know. I'm sure. That works. <laughs> so we got rise to prosperity. Restoring the peace and on the edge so i think these are kind of like difficulties in a way um i'm gonna go with rise to prosperity starting out because this is my first time playing i have watched some streams but even with that i haven't really like dived too deep into it like i was just watching to see what the game was kind of about spring armament and no free weapon delivery so you can like choose this kind of stuff. Ooh. Free weapon delivery for militia as soon as the player builds a storehouse in five residential plots. No adversary. Okay, so you got a, a decent amount of uh, customization here. We'll just go in with the default settings. Um, oh, there's also relaxing default challenging. Yeah, we'll go default. Let's very let's learn from the very beginning. Here we go. Yeah, I've seen a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people talking about this game looks amazing too, which it does look pretty cool, I'd say, from everything that I've seen. A new message. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. Prosperity awaits. Okay. And manor lords, uh, families need food, fuel, and roof above their heads to survive. Supplies in the region above shows how much you've got left. Okay. Uh, right here. I see. See, these people... Hold on, let me pause. 
So these people wait for more Burgage plots, causing a lot of approval and the possibility of freezing the winners. Homeless cannot be part of militia. Homelessness. So what I have a re Oh, okay, you can see. So what if we go construction? We build them like a, a home. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up a trade early. So we're over here. Oh, okay. I was trying to wait. What happened there? What was that? Play deposit. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so if you just zoom, you can also see. Our camp is right. Wait, where am I? The view shows you the regions are under whose control. Wait, where'd I go? Oh, here I am. Jeez. So, oh, there's so there's no logo next to me. We've got stone deposit, iron deposit, clay, berry deposit, and wild animals nearby. Okay. So I saw one of the things you want to build early on, though, is logging camp. So I'm going to go ahead and make one of these. Let's see. Which side is closer to a bunch of trees? Um, could go right here. And the other nice thing I learned is this game pretty much has a lot of free uh, building roads and all that, which is kind of nice. Unassigned families work on construction automatically. Cool. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the ox when they need it. Okay, so that's the hitching post. Order a new horse, order another ox. Okay, let's see. Homeless camp, upgrade to workers camp. Let's see if I can do that. To get more population, you need to have enough uh, burgage gauge plots and approval needs to be Ned's needs to be over uh, 50%. Got it. All right, I'm going to make this the higher priority so that way we can continuously get more logging or timber and then afterwards we'll do this. So I think we can hit play now. Let's see. How do you visit mode? Ooh. So this is that third person walking through the city that I was talking about. That's so cool. But nothing like being able to manage it from all the way up, like up above third person. Or I mean like, you know, top down and being able to spawn in and just walk around. That's such a cool feature. Hello, madam. Hello, sir. Great work, sir. We're dropping some, some logs right here. Let's see if I go over here. Oh, so you can see all the timber that we have. So what, he's, he's going to grab one? Uh, <laughs> only one at a time. Jeez. That's so cool, though. I love that. In almost all cases, resources and manor lords have physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed to uh, speed it up if you like. All right, so what else we got here? Goods stored here are, are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved to storage. Okay. Goods stored here, goods stored here are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved to granary. All right, so let's build some roads. That way we can connect other things. Some workplaces allow vill villagers to use handcarts to transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a handcart off-road is extremely slow, so make sure you connect your buildings to roads. 
That one was already connected to a road, which is nice. I'm going to build one here. Oh. And here. Now, they don't expect this, this city to be super efficient at first. Because I have no idea what I'm doing just yet. Just uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Although I, I have watched a few streams. Very much going to be a learning stage. Without a doubt. All right, let's try. I don't know. I always struggled in. Like even games like. Uh, Um, trying to skyline like city skylines i always struggle to kind of like put your your roads together coming soon. at first so it might take me some time woodcutters lodge saw pit hunting camp forager hut so this is all gathering mining stone cutters camp storehouse so two of the things that i mentioned was a storehouse granary all right yeah let's make that storehouse put one right uh, as long as it doesn't go over the road that like kind of a tough area put one right there and then we'll also do a granary It'll be right here. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We're all like facing the road. These houses are faced back to each other. We they got a little road right here to walk around. Everything. This building has no assignment found. Let's select it and assign a family whenever you like to start production. While human workforce has been assigned has to be assigned by default livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. Okay, so let's assign one person here, I guess. Or maybe two. Look at them go. So building the storehouse, the granary. These people wait for more burge plots cause a lot of approval. Almost cannot be part of militia units either. So are they still considered homeless? They are. Yeah, there's five of them. So can I build residential? Here we go. Oh, it's literally called uh, bur burgage plot. <laughs> we need two, uh, two timber to be able to craft them. Provides living space for a single family or two families when expanded. Cool. Yeah, so once we have these things crafted, we'll go ahead and do that. We just need a lot more timber. All right, let me actually assign three. And we get some some timber built up. Let's go ahead and visit our village again. Okay. Too bad. Love seeing everybody at work. Go see the, the gentleman chopping down trees. Where are you at? And you are really in here right now. Great work, sir. Fantastic. This village will be very prosperous one day. I promise thee. Okay, let's see. The chopping, the chopping animation is pretty good. That sound, though. Sound design is pretty good. Saving finished. Oh, 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 oh. Please warn me next time, sir. Soon. 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 
What else have we got here? So this is the the logging camp. And then oh, all right. We've got the Is this the storehouse or the granary? I think this one might have been the granary. No, this was the storehouse. The one behind it, it was the granary. Yeah. Okay, so they're building the items over here, or bringing them over here, so that way we can get building started. All right, let's take a look. Yep, this one was the storehouse. Cool. All right, we've got a decent amount of... We got two timber now, so not too bad. Go ahead and construct this. The buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to the roads and buildings to try and create organic shape. You can also leave more spaces for extension upgrades. Okay. So. We go like right here. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I pressed R by accident. Aha. Okay. Yeah, we'll start with that. Sure. Actually, I reset. Could it be a little bit of a messy village starting out? I could also... Hold on, let's see. What if I build the house back here? So we do this. Oh, plot too small. Oh, man. Um, What about... Let's go to road. Can I remove a road? Alt. Remove this road. Yes. Get rid of this one. All right. R. Okay. We've got a little box now. <laughs> Let's try construction plots. Okay. We got. Ooh. Huh. Oh, man. That would be just enough. Hold on. Let's see. Let's start from right here then. How's this looking? Is that two houses? That is. All right, we'll start with this. Yeah, I think that's a good good starting point. Uh, place area. Yep. Go ahead and build that. We'll have two little houses to to get us started with. And let's take a look. So, what else do we got here? Marketplace well enables firefighting. We can make a little well right here. Sure, I'll go ahead and put one right there. A tavern. How we look in storehouse? We still have exposed exposed stuff. Oh, because we got to assign families here. That's why. We'll assign one and one. Okay. Okay. 
itching post. So that's all of our supplies just chilling there. Because <laughs> nobody was putting them into the granary or there. Okay, that's good though. Now we're getting back together. How do we see how many people? So we have uh, 10 homo is that homeless people? No population growth. All birds plots are occupied. 10 and 5. Oh, 10 men, 5 women. Okay, I see. I thought it was like a child at first. Families request more market area for their stall granary. New mercenary, mercenary companies available. Construction upgrade complete. Family member joins one of the settlers. Okay. Unassigned family needs construction and work. Family requests more market area for the stall. For their stall. What does more market area mean? This would be very interesting. Well, let's try doing that. Oh, it is a little bit of a walk. From there to there. I don't know. These, this road's a little bit... A little janky. <laughs> we got some crossroads we gotta do. Alright, there you go. That's fine. Honestly, that's not too far. Right? Surely. Unassigned... Unassign at least one family from the workplace so that they can take over construction. Oh. Uh, the logging. How are we doing on timber? All right, yeah, let's do one guy there. That way two people can go, two families can go ahead and do the construction over here. I don't want to speed things up too fast because I feel like this is one of those games that if you're not paying attention, things can go bad very, very quickly. Uh, so I'm trying to take it at a slow pace before we go ahead and speed up time. And take a nice look. Yeah, this is such a cool feature. It'd be awesome if there was a way you could, like, semi-interact with things. You know what would be really cool? if there, I know it's not really that type of game, but it would be cool if you could, like, just go walk up to something, press, like, E, and you would give that thing a tiny, tiny speed boost. And then you, like, in one way or another, interact or do that activity just to speed it up. If you want it, of course. Ah, the two villages having a little chat. Our logging camp is going well, I can see. Not too bad. The first house is almost set up, almost complete. Just give me a hammer if something needs to not move. I'll put it in You're doing a great job, sir. Yeah, it's almost done. All right. So uh, we'll need. How many of this can it, it can hold five. So we, do we need five of these? Or I mean, it can hold one family. So we need five of these, I'm guessing. The old farmhouse, sheep farm, saving finished. Okay, nice. How are we doing on food? 
We got some bread. Bread. I think there's a, uh, let's see, forager hut. They gather berries in nearby berry deposits. Do we have a berry deposit? We do. Okay. Let's try making one of these, actually. Go right here. And then I'll also do a hunting camp, too. Do the hunting camp right here. Wait, does this actually work if I do this? Oh, you know what? I might uh, bump those, too. What the hell is that? Oh, it's birds. <laughs> it's like, what is running? Almost will move into the plot. And if approval isn't high enough, it might attract new families, too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check on residential requirements. Let me demolish this one. Construction costs will be refunded. Nice. Love that. All right. And then we're going to put this here instead. Okay. We click on this house. So what are the uh, amenities? Water across. Any well constructed in the uh, region. Fuel stall armaments general. Requires refueling. So yeah, I think this just means we have five families right now. So we'll need to make five of those. But somebody hasn't moved in there yet. Hunting camp. Construction finished. So we got the well now. Okay. This should get water access soon then. Refueled. Okay, we got one and one there. Go ahead and make a road from there to there. That way we, we can just walk across instead of having to go up here and then around. The music here is very, very nice. Once these two are set up, I'll set those. There's a berry deposit right there. And wild animals. So that's looking good. Yeah, so far, this game's pretty cool. I like this. And once again, if you guys are enjoying it, leaving a like uh, does make a huge difference. And if we hit that 20 like goal, I'll go ahead and put out some more episodes. I believe this game like officially comes out in early access on the 26th. But today we are playing a little bit early because I, I was provided that key to check it out, like many other other creators. Okay. Everything so far is going pretty smooth. Construction finished for the uh, the plot. Another one of these. Did somebody move into this yet? No. Wait, requirements? Does it have to have this for people to move in? In building tab? All right, let's see here. Family requests more market area for their stall. Okay. And try building the church. New merc mercenary companies. Let's try building a uh, church nearby. Settlers Camp, Cosmetic Shrine. Maybe it's residential. Tavern, Wooden Church. 
What is that? Uh, we need whatever that thing is. Oh. Oh, planks. Construction finished. A new family is moving in. Hey, okay. A number of months before supplies run out. Oh, boy. Food, two months. Fuel. All right. So we got to get some people assigned here. Get one forager. We got one, one, and one. Did somebody move into one of these houses yet? How do we get more uh, planks, too? Family members join one of the settlers. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so somebody did move in here. Here we go. We still got five. All right, let's do... Do some more here. One, two, three, four. I want to try to get everybody at home. Yeah, all right. We'll have two more houses, but that's okay. I'm going to set this to higher priority, though. That way, everyone can get those set up. Family requests more market area for their stall. Let me see. That might be them saying that it's too close to each other. Apparently, you can enable idle workers if they don't automatically go. Yeah, I haven't really messed with any of the settings, but this game is running great so far. Let's see, gameplay? Tutorial pop ups? Yes, please. Let's do an autosave every five minutes instead. That looks good for right now. Is it? Is there like a search? Yeah, I'm guessing more market area just means that they want more space. But I don't know how, unless if like I, I move it, demolish it, and then move it somewhere else. Oh, relocate. How about if I relocate... But they're so close right there. Hold on. Actually, let's make a road. I, I really do love that roads are free to make. Like, that is very, very nice. Yeah, I could make a road right here and put the uh, berry thing right there. Yeah, I don't see why. Why did I go so close? <laughs> you know? You could really make them like anywhere you want, technically. Yeah, let's uh let's move that a little bit closer. Like right there.
And ooh, of course this isn't not done yet. Goods here are vulnerable to weather damage and need to be moved. Okay. Yeah, it's because I relocated it. Shoot. We got houses that are still being constructed. Man. Stone deposit. I don't want to give them too much more right now. Here, let's unassign people so that way we can get to constructing. I will keep somebody at logging camp though. Oh no, exposed stocks are getting soaked. Exposed. Yeah. Go, go, go. Let me take a look here. I'll protect the supplies. Wait, they went back to building the house. Oh, okay. Hold on, wait, guys. Build the forager hut, so that way we can do this. Yeah, go build that. Go build that. I know it's rainy. It's tough. But we're almost... The, the day is almost done. Or the day has just started. One of the, I think the day might have just started. But that's fine. The day will be over before you even know it. I think it's all the way out here. Yeah. It's a nice little path, though. You know? Somebody comes to our village and is like, Hey, do you have any berries? But yeah, go ahead, right down that path, and follow the flowers. You'll see it at the end of the uh, the road. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. There it is. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. Okay. All right, yeah, I should assign one one person here. One and one. Also do one person here. What was it? They require more area for this? Limit work area, unlimited work area. So I saw there's a way. Is that it? Maybe that's it. Aha. We'll need to take the foundations deeper for this one. Does it matter if you do a limit or not? Oh, or will they like automatically go out places <laughs> by it by themselves? All right, set work area, adjust size. Oh, control. Wait, this is wild animals, right? Yep, it is. I guess this is so they don't go crazy and go explore a ton of other places. Got clay deposit and iron deposit right here. Still have a lot of homeless families. One. We're, no, why is nobody living here? What's wrong with this house? Somebody move into this house. This is a perfectly fine house right now. The priors are refueling. Can I assign people to it? 
Somebody moved into this house faster than the other one. Guys, I'm building homes for you so that you, you can go live in them. You don't have to stay in these other houses. Granary worker, forager, residing family is five. I mean, should I make another worker camp? Wait, do we have more houses than needed? Oh no. But it says these people wait for uh, burging plots, causing a lot of approval and possibility of freezing in the winters. Homeless cannot be a part of, like he's staying over here, right? Jacob. What happens if we build another workers camp? Let's see. Granary storehouse pack station. Use this to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods with another region. Hitching post. Assigned families become permanent ox guides and speed up logistics. But do another hitching post. Um. Yeah, let's go right there. Or can we just do another... I'll, I'll build another one, right? I guess. Maybe? <laughs> or I could just buy another ox. You know what? Hold on. Let's just buy another ox. Demolish that one. Yeah, saving finished. This costs 20. Do we have that? 20. There's no unassigned, so that's good. Families without assignment work work on it. Oh wait, they oh. Um, everybody is assigned to something. Let me order another ox, and then is there any resources? I'll take one person from the granary. That way, there's one person working on construction. Five families are. Doing the rest of that. Okay. There we go. I'm learning. I don't know if this is... I don't... Well, to be honest, I don't know if there's a right or wrong thing that you should be building early on or stuff that you shouldn't be. But either way, I mean, this is a pretty good setup so far, I feel like. It might be a little bit messy... But right now, this does the job. It's doing the job. If you guys would like to see a live stream of this game too, let me know. Because I, I was very, very close to doing like a Manor Lords Monday live stream. But I, I ended up opting to doing a video instead because I don't know how all well this would do. I mean, yes, I'm sure there's... There are a decent amount of people streaming and, and I watching myself, but um, I really don't know. So that's the whole point for these videos a lot of times is to test things out and see what does well, what doesn't. Also see if it's worth doing a live stream of, all of that. Like once, once human, for example, when that game comes out, I will absolutely be doing a stream uh, on release. Really looking forward to that. But the, the videos for that have been doing way better than I anticipated, so. <laughs> Stuff like that. These roads are so messy. <laughs> Who put me in charge, okay? Who put me in charge? All right, what is this? Wait. Build more hitching posts or upgrade one to a stable. Otherwise, some livestock may run away. <gasps> oh, no. Not enough stable. Wait, what is this? Why is it bringing me over there? 
That's funny because I, I was literally about to build a hitching post, but I guess I didn't. Or, well, I know that I, I demolished it. Tavern, wooden church. We still need more planks. Is there something that... Oh, the saw pit. Okay. So the saw pit will give you planks. Go ahead and put this right next to the... Yeah, right here. Because I think that's where our... The storehouse. Is this where our planks go? Or firewood? No. Is it? Oh, the logging camp. Hold on. Wait. I don't know why I was thinking it was right there. Alright, let's, uh, whoops. Click in things. Cancel that. Let's put a saw pit right... Right here. Nice, so we leveled up. These families will focus on the uh, assigned job. Whoa. After you reach the next settlement level, you unlock a, uh, you will be granted a development point to spend unlock development branches to make your region more efficient to enact policies needed to ri raise, rise <laughs> your administration level by building administration buildings like the manor. Okay. Cool. How we doing right now? We got tons of timber. We'll need more planks. One unassigned family. Summer's coming soon. How are we doing on food? They've been finished. Nice. We're at a population of 18. And families. So I guess you should always have like one family unassigned. I'm going to unassign somebody here so that way they can go do, go do some other stuff. Go build up a bit. have a walk around very good another house careful, that beam there. careful. this is our resident hunter here preparing the food Okay. All right. We've got some carcasses already. The ox. Oh, uh, they're still building the um, the hunting post. Up? Wait, what? Why is she bringing the the log all the way back here? I guess. Maybe she chopped it down. This is the second hitching post that they're building. Very good. Very good. Hey, bring that piece over here. Oh, you need this one? There you go. Who approved this construction plan? A blind man or a fool? What? That's a blind fool. What? What do you mean? I approve this construction. All right, we got two hitching posts now. Let's go ahead and assign one more person to the other hitching post. 
Oh, if we had, if we get more, if we get planks, then I can upgrade this to a stable. Workers camp provides crude living space for five families. Contrary to can't be upgraded or expanded and may cause a loss, small loss of approval. Best suited for as worker accommodation for outposts. Five people still live here though. What? Husband, son. Oh, they're making families. Reassign family to a different workplace. Unassigned. Can I assign a family to a house specifically? I mean, we still have so many houses <laughs> being unused. Water access. They don't. There's no wooden church. I think that's what they're most upset about. All right, let's put this. Let's get this built so that way we can build a church. Um, is there anybody? Yeah, like nobody's moving into these houses. Amenities. Fuel stall supply. Construction finished. All right. Let's get one person on there. I don't think we have any other constructions going on right now, so that's fine. rest of the families are all assigned somewhere. Ooh, a new family has moved in. Okay. They move into one of these houses. How's my approval rating? Oh boy, 50%? That's not too bad. Could be worse, right? We got one unassigned family now. No constructions yet. Let's go ahead and assign them here. Go ahead, go to the saw pit. Once we have two planks available. Uh oh. Generic storage full. Excess goods may be moved to a storehouse. Otherwise, workers may stop production and overflowing storage. Uh oh. Permanent livestock assignment. Very windy out here. This guy going to work. Lorenz, please. <laughs> we need saws. We need a. Uh, yes, there you go. Fantastic. All right, let's see, let's see him at work. Or right, we need planks. Fantastic, sir. Once we have two planks, you all will be getting a church. We very much need a place to relax, to stay, and pray. Man, the atmosphere is so good. It's actually so cool. There was another game that I played that was kind of along the similar lines where you would have to set up buildings and workers and all that. I can't remember. It's something was with a G. Uh, I played during Steam Next Fest. It might be fully out now, but it kind of this kind of reminds me of that. It did have more combat though. Uh, early on combat, at least. I, I'm pretty sure this does have a decent amount of combat. It just might be. 
later on. Now, once again, if you guys are enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. Uh, we'll see how much progress we make with this. Uh, might be splitting it up to it. I kind of do want to play a little bit more. Um, so we might be breaking for another video in a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. Everything's looking good here. I could speed up time now. All right, we got five planks. Nice. Get rid of one guy there. Time to build that church. What? You need 20 planks now? <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? This place has too much goods again. Oh, log storage, it can only hold one. Oh, construction reserve will never be used for crafting so that enough resources are left for construction. Man, so you can only, you only make one at a time. So now it's got two, two out of one. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to assign two people. We got to clean that thing up. Man, I didn't realize it required so much. Oh, what did I press? I pressed F5. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, I think I broke it. Um, 9.25, that was five minutes ago, 9.30, here we go. Hopefully this is fixed. Oh no. Let me try going to the main menu. Oh no. All right, we're going to restart the game real quick. Okay, I am back. Yeah, that was a weird... I, All right, I guess I'm not pressing F5. Let me do a regular save, too. Just so we've got it. Okay, yeah, that was a very strange uh, glitch. But re restarting the game seemed to fix it. So, hopefully. Anyways. Got 21 population, 11 living spaces. I think maybe, is that why people are moving into these houses? Because there's no church? Family request more market area for their stall, forager hut. Put a road from there down to like here. A lot of ore over there. The way they can go whichever route is fastest for them. Upgrade to a large storehouse. How much stone planks? All right, we're almost there. We've almost got enough. Almost. We need five more. So one more, one more log should do it. That'll give me enough to craft the wooden church. 
What else we got here? Marketplace. Another well. Yeah, I should look into upgrading some things too. There's fields, farmhouse, pasture, sheep farm, windmill, communal oven, bloomery, smithy, clay furnace, bathhouse, tannery, uh, weaver shop. There's a decent amount of buildings here. Bill's one level of entertainment requirement for the birch plots, like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. <laughs> it needs ale to function. Marketplace has no construction costs. Is that what they're asking for this whole time? Are they asking to be able to... Oh my gosh. Well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. A sign family will set up stalls automatically. As long as there's enough... Oh my gosh. They require more mark. Is <laughs> Hover over specified categories to check your current supply and demand. Wow. Yep, that just cleared it out. Just like that. And I think people are moving into the houses now. Yep. You're kidding. That cleared out all of that requirement there. Alright, let's do this. We'll get one person. How many planks do we have? We got 20. I'll still craft the... Um, the wooden church. Damn, that's a big church. That's a very big church. Wow. I can't believe that. Alright. Planks, how are we doing? We're down to zero again. Once I have two planks, I think I'll maybe expand a hitching post. Yeah, I didn't realize you can only have one at a time. So then we'd be able to expand one of these and then just uh, get rid of the other. Wow. Provide space for families to set up stalls and distribute their produce to the lots. A healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fill residential requirements and keep approval high. That's why they're asking for that. <laughs> I thought they were asking for, like, more space. I never realized they meant, like, a market to trade with each other. I thought they... Personally, I thought the market was going to be for trading with other areas. Not specifically that, but, um, but yeah. Stone cutting camp. Mining. I could do the mining pit since we've got two iron and clay. The stone cutting camp right here would actually be pretty good too. No deposit in range. There's a deposit. Oh, you got to put it on top of it. Oh, so you have free reign to put this wherever you want. Oh, that's kind of cool. Under construction. A 
church is being built. All right, this is, I, I feel like, I mean, it's not perfect, right? This might not be the most ideal situation, but I feel like for what we've got here so far, for being my, my first town, it's, it's pretty good in my opinion. It's uh, put together a little bit. Like I said, not not uh, amazing, but it's a start, right? It's it's something. It is something. I haven't sped up time. It's kind of been peaceful, not uh, speeding up time. Although I'm sure in these like slower segments where we're waiting stuff to be constructed, it would be good. The problem I always have with speeding up time, though, is once you speed up time, it's hard to go back to normal. Like every time I've played Sims or something along those lines, you speed up time because you want it to go like really fast and then do everything. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, now normal feels slow because you're so used to. The one thing a lot of times I don't mind speeding up time for, though, is like turn-based games. Uh, depending on the game. Like letting attacks go through a little bit faster. Cool. We're doing pretty good right now. That's, that's crazy. I did not realize that there is market area. <laughs> <laughs> we've got our market in the front of the city i mean honestly it'd probably be better if i put like the market towards the the back or something but that's okay we got everything it's kind of like our central area so in a way it is the front of the city what else can we um see i don't want to craft too much because we do have some stuff that's in the middle of being crafted. Upgrade to a small stable. Try doing this one. Upgrading. I'll unassign this. I think I might demolish this one. Damn, that wood, or the church is taking a while to be crafted. Transported goods. So a lot of their time is spent transporting the actual stuff too. And then once it's all there, then they can craft it. They just got eight out of 20. I think we might need more plank planks in order to craft it unless if it's already reserved and it just remains there until it gets here everybody's hard at work right now transporting meat yeah the the marketplace is probably what's also slowing things down a little bit because now People are going to set up their stalls there for trading. Assign transporting plank. Oh, he's grabbing some water. It's. Oh. <laughs> I love the atmosphere. I really do. We still have people living in the worker camps. But people are are happy. I guess maybe they just go to the worker camps uh, before they start their day or like to take breaks. Here's the stable being built. like it's almost done and they'll probably resume building the uh, church again yep this 
it done? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you can click on them and then you, you follow them. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of... So this thing has enough space for two. So if I get rid of this one... Can I get rid of it? Where do we see our cash? Okay, approval rating is going up. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how we see how much money we have. Oh, here it is. Is it the regional wealth? But it says I have development points one. Oh, whoops. Wait, what did I do? What if I didn't want to do that? Oh, shoot. <laughs> A permanent market stall, which provides passive income of firewood. Oh, we can also build bread now. I wanted to see how we can make uh, ale. Enables employing oxen at farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of larger fields. Okay. It's always this place, man. They, they've always got too much. They're still making the pits over here. Pause this building. Maybe it's because this is my original one, because it shows I can demolish this. Maybe I can just upgrade this one. Instead, let's see. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. There we go. So now that we have two livestock over here, or do we lose out on the other livestock? I think we lost out on the other one. Are horses better than ox? Livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animal orders must uh, can be placed once a month. No, it shows they're guiding an ox. Okay, we still... <clears throat> we still got two then, right now, I guess. But it only shows the one. Weird. Um, yeah. Let's try ordering a horse. Unless if you can only have one ox, uh, Per area. I mean, that could make sense too. Okay. They're still building the church here. Still at work building the church. 
let's straighten this up. We've got the homes. Our resident hunter here. The forager back here. The atmosphere and sound effects are really so good. Very, very good. Going to chop some more wood down or grab some more wood, bring it back. Man, where's the person working here? Carpenter? This, this church is 50% of the way there. Not enough stables. Okay, yeah, it must be that you you only get one ock per thing. So let me try. Uh, <clears throat> let's just make another. You know what? Let's make another hitching post back here. We got one and one. It's weird that it says so every time that one log gets placed here, it says that it's oh, it's because the generic storage is full. I'm gonna have two families uh, work at the sawmill that way we can get rid of those. Marketplace, how are we doing over here? Loathing? Okay. Storehouse, pack station. Firewood cart, food cart. Tavern. It needs ale to function. Yeah, I don't know how we get... Is that... Oh, that's how you craft ale. I guess. Passive income of firewood. Okay. And let's set a food cart up, too. Corpse to pot. <laughs> There's a corpse pit. Not all deserve to be buried on conserved ground. Use this to building to get rid of any raider corpse quickly. Workers become grave diggers. Jeez. Let's let's set up the tavern. Let's set one up right here by the road. That way, if somebody is traveling, they can be like, "Oh, look, a tavern." Let's just go say hi. And then they'll be able to see our beautiful church back here. We've got the logging camp. Not enough stables. Oh, God. Hold on. Let me uh, set high, high production for that. We still got more people moving in. This is going to be very high, though. That way this can be crafted. Very good. Definitely want to make sure that's set so that way we don't lose this guy.
Oh, so the two oxes are here. But we still need the hitching post, I guess, for the horse. The ox moved in here <laughs> by itself. Uh oh, hopefully one of the oxes go over here. Okay. Whew. There we go. Much better. Peter. Peter the horse. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we got enough fuel for three months, food for 12 months. Not bad, not bad. All right, now that that's all set, let's get this church done. Once the church is done, and marketplace is good. There goes the horse. Good old Peter. The church is almost complete. We don't even have enough people for... I mean, like, I have two unassigned families. That way they can do... Um, do all this, but... We got plenty of planks right now. I'll take one off of there. The only thing is the salt pit gets so filled up, but honestly, whatever. Not too bad. Oh, we're in summer now. Crops grow, possible droughts. How are we do, do we need to like keep an eye on like water? What generates us, uh, nice. There's the church. We got it. Firewood. Woodcutter's Lodge. Yeah, let's set one of, one of these up. I don't think I have one. Actually. Foresters hut, they plant new trees in specified areas. Also set one of these up. Alright, I wanna set the uh the tavern as the next highest thing. We just like keep making uh oh limit reached. Okay, that's why. Firewood cart, this one is going to be the uh Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. No. Are you kidding me? Abandoned under construction. There you go. I think this one's the, the food cart. So the only, um, oh yeah, there's a food stall. Tavern, wooden church, corpse pit, yield farmhouse, aster sheep farm, windmill, bloomery, smithy, clay furnace, malt house, tannery, weaver. You can turn berries into dyes. Wool, hides pr produce weather or leather. I mean, bloomery, trade trading posts, livestock trading posts, manor. Need clay <laughs> to be able to do that though. Okay, all right. We are getting somewhere though. This is a, a good good start. Very peaceful while playing this. 
Let me save again. Okay. Well, I'm not going to drag this video out any longer. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to play some more, so we'll work on another video. I might be a little bit shorter than this one, because usually I like going to like that hour, hour 15-ish uh, for these types, but we'll see. For right now, thank you for watching. I go live just about uh, 5.30, 6 p.m. Eastern every weekday and 9 a.m. Eastern on weekends most weekends that is um join the discord if you want announcements for any time i do go live or post new videos um let me know what you think about this game or if you got any tips feel free to leave those in the comments i'll definitely be checking those out for now that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace